Have you heard the legend of Beach of Ali? It is a tale of twin brothers, one good, one evil. This legend predates our time by a thousand years, if not more. This is the legend of Gorilla Land. I'll start with the evil of the two, Chitalo, or as his people called him, Darkness. Chitalo was a great warrior, but did not agree with how his father ruled. Legends say he tried to overthrow the throne by committing high treason against his entire family. Chitalo wanted his father to take the power in Gorilla Land and rule the world through fear and violence. But the king was a wise and fair king who eventually had to exile his eldest son for his actions. And ever since, Chitello has been playing his part in the destruction of the planet with his dark and persuasive powers. His younger brother, Inokadaki, or Donkajiyas, was also a great warrior and a great admirer of his brother until he changed. But unlike Chitalo, he kept his family and all who lived in Gorilla Land in his best interest. Though it is said, the two possessed powers beyond human recognition, and it's strongly assumed that Inokadaki was the strongest of the two. And that's why he was sent by his father to stop his brother, for once and for all, before he is crowned king. So are you guys aliens? What? No. I mean, yeah, I guess you could say that. How neat. I didn't know that. Is your planet far from here? Technically, this is my planet now. My brother and I was born here over a thousand years ago. You're a thousand years old? A thousand and four. You yeah. right? Wait, you guys saw the dinosaurs? Dog, that was 65 million years ago. Right, so you guys came shortly after. No. See, my ancestors were forced to come here a few thousand years back. Forced? Yes. Our planet was destroyed by a rogue colony who was way more powerful than we were. They were searching for resources and slaves. So my family fleed and found your planet been hiding in the ruins ever since. And your brother? My brother. He is my twin. Though we do not think alike. He is bad news. He wasn't always that way. He was pure at first. Now, he despises the very existence of your people. He wants to destroy this planet, so our people will be forced to find another planet due to his liking. All because our father won't control this. trouble. Tell me about it. I'm going to search that.
Oh, this? This is a vintage Gorilla Wayne shirt. One of the artist's first shirts ever made. Notice how he drew his designs on his shirt before he went to material. Nice. <laughs> what about that one? Mine? It appears we shop with the same guy. Mine being a bit more custom. Due to me being royalty and all. Yeah. Johnny K. Yeah. Look, cleared my path at the further my career. My career. I'm, I'm not taller, rookie of the year. Of the year. Deal with my fears and silence, I hate tears. Lock the peers and finally, man, I'm here. So nowadays, instead of living in the outrage, I outthink, outsmart, just to outplay millionaires. No cigars, but I'm in it. There the day that goes by, though, with Greg in this job. Evening, Billy. Pete. Yes? No, son. I was responding to your greeting. Did you get the book? <sighs> no, but I did get to read the story. And color me pink is our boy. Good. Does it give us the whereabouts of that son, bitch? Not exactly. We need to find John P. He knows the location of Johnny K. And without him, we're hunting a needle yeah. in a haystack. Yeah. I hear you. Pete? Yes? This job might set fires to the hairs in the crack of my hide. But you're a damn good partner. And, um, I'm grateful for the ten years we've been kicking ass. Wow. Billy, you shocked me. Thanks, partner. Now, I'm extremely glad send to have the APB out on John uh, Pete. We're going to hang that son of a bitch by his pinky toe till he tell us what we want to know. <laughs> You got it, Billy. Well, coffee's hot. Greetings, Billy Lillery and Pete McIntosh. What's this now? It is I, Johnny K. I need to understand that you've been looking for me. Why? Well, it ain't rocket science. We heard rumors about you that may very well lead to the subjugation of the human race. And as a representative of the United States government, that is violation of code 649CR2. In our Do Not Mess With America book, buddy, we don't play that mess in Sector 9. Now, where are you? You are meddling in business that's not your own. Your people are fragile and can easily wind up dead. Stuck uh, in the Billy. head where it don't belong. Just who in the hell you think you are? Billy. No, not now, Pete. Buddy, did you just threaten the officer of the goddamn United States of America? Billy. You just dug your own grave, pal. Pete, get headquarters online. Billy. See what they think about this. <laughs> Pete, did you hear me? <sighs> Pete. Pete. Where'd you go, Pete? The time of me has come to an end. What did you do to Pete? Where's my partner? Pete is missing. If you don't want to join him, stay away from me. Pete? Pete? Oh man, Pete. Oh man, Pete. Damn this Johnny K. I'm gonna burn that son of a bitch. If it's the last thing I do. Oh, man, Pete. Yes, this is the coordinates. 
23 years of searching. 23 years of taking lies and I finally found you. Fontaine Buttersnap. <laughs> King Mbathi. You are not permitted to be here. I searched my whole life to be in this moment. Ever since I was a child, Mama, Papa, told me the story of Gorilla Land and its great powers. My friends, my colleagues thought I was crazy, but I knew it to be the truth. Fontaine, you murdered innocent people in search for a land where life is valued. You lied. You stole. You are the very person that has no passage to Gorilla Land. Forgive me. I've waited to hear you say that name for so long now. How I got here doesn't matter to me. Now let me in, or I will help Johnny K destroy this planet before he returns home. I know he doesn't have a lot of time. You fool. Inokadaki is not the one destroying. He is savior of your people. Savior from who? My eldest, Chitalo. I know nothing of Chitalo. Only Johnny K. He was my sure way in. I shouldn't have came on my own. Enough! You are correct. You shouldn't have come here, Fontaine. You don't belong. And those who cross the threshold for judgment cannot return. But I must. I am Fontaine Buttersman. I deserve to be royalty. I, Mbafe, King of Gorilla Land, shall pass judgment upon you now. Fontaine Buttersmith, your passage is rejected on the grounds that your soul is not pure. You are deceitful, a liar, and a murderer. You have no place here. The penalty for non-authorized crossing is death by the gods. No. Those are the rules no. in the Rilla Land, and the rules applies to all. No. Perish now, Fontaine. Curse you, Mbathi! Oh, oh. Farewell. Chitalo, where are you? Can't be silent forever. be your service, your highness. You remember, remember the stories father used to tell us about this place, how the human race is young and, and fragile. Yes, but he believed with our help, we can push the humans to grow. But father was wrong, baby brother. The human race has no interest in growing. They are divided by simple-minded things like skin color. And not just that. They are prejudiced against everything like age, gender, height, financial status, music, Music, baby brother. All the people who are mentally capable of changing the human's growth are themselves growing old. Soon, 
there will be nothing left but a world full of foolishness and weaponized technology. Tell me, why is that worth saving? Because of the youth. I agree. This world is getting worse. There are things happening here that shouldn't go unnoticed. The U.S. government alone is turning the United States into a third world country. Then we should seize it. Shut it down. Put the United States under a new command. Together, brother. Then, we can control the bigotry and prejudice that surrounds the planet. The youth, T'Challa. The youth is the planet's only hope. Their minds are not corrupted yet. If we could somehow help the dying generation see that their stupidity is what's killing the world's growth, then, I don't know, maybe we can convince them to let the stupidity die with them. And by doing so, the youth will be free from prejudice-like subjects. And as a result, the problems of the planet will become the center of their attention. Hence, the growth of the human race. So, you agree? We need to rid the government of their protecting power. Because they are the dying generation that's controlling the evil that's flooding the world. You think of it. I think I might admire them. This is not our home to change or destroy. Really, we have no business interfering with what's happening here. We are marooned to the jungle like animals, cowering from a civilization filled with mind-controlled pets. Their lives have no meaning, and they choose for it to be so in Okadat. They are slaves, slaves of the mind, slaves of their financial stability, slaves of the lifestyle they feel forced to live. I hate it here. They are not like-minded, brother. I don't want to join them. I don't want to dumb down to blend in. They killed this planet. And now they want to move to another planet and kill that one too. They are disease and infection. I want them destroyed. What happened to you, man? Since when did you start to only see the bad in situations, bro? Since I've learned how the people on this planet really ease. So blinded. Selfish. So quick to cause or report a problem. Until the problem is their own. Then they pray for help. They are sad, brother. We need to talk face to face. Where are you? Why are you always surrounded by darkness? My whereabouts are the least of your problems. Finally, I have the resources and the technology I need to rid the planet of its infection. For good. At least these humans were good for something. Farewell for now, brother. Oh, I will stay away from Billy Langley for a while. He's had a sudden loss. Farewell, man. What did you do? To tell him. Chich. What's up, man? It's your boy, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny K. Okay, I can't see that from the caller ID. You know, <laughs> listen, just kidding, just kidding. 
listen, I was thinking that you might need to go down to the station and talk to Billy and Pete. What? Why? To put all this stuff that we have between us behind us. Are you? Are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I don't know about that. But those guys are off, especially yeah. Billy. Listen, Pete. Pete's okay. Yeah, man. Um. I think that it'll be best because my brother is getting powerful and we need to all come together and try to stop him. But I thought you just said you were stronger than your brother. He is not. Come again? I'm so sorry, guy. Um, I got a cold and I'm trying to recover. I apologize. That fast? I just left. But okay. Yeah, he. Yeah, I am stronger than him. Okay, well, I guess I'll go down and have a talk with those guys. Great idea, buddy. And I'll give you a dial after. All right. Okay, see ya. All right. I'm headed down now. Yeah, you go do that. Bye. All right, guy. Peace out. Stronger than me, eh? We're good. Billy, we're killed. John P. My brother will kill Billy for John P. And then it's just him and I. Then we'll see who's the strongest. Gorilla Land, in it with the feelings, cause I'm one of them. I can make a million, still be chilling, that's a wonderful. I ain't got no feelings for